What is up, YouTubers, gamers, and hobbyists? Welcome, welcome to Chill with Pete, the coffee break catch-up series where I talk about my my life, what's going on with me, the hobby, um, whatever else comes to mind, really. <clears throat> and it lasts as long as it takes me to drink a cup of coffee, which is what I've got here now. Decaf, of course. Um, so it's end of the weekend. It's Sunday again already. Work tomorrow. Boo! The light. It's what is it? Um, I don't even know what time of day it is. It's a. It's about quarter past half past six in the evening. It's um, starting to get a bit dark now. And um, yeah, I've still got my blinds open though, so I can. I can see out over over the way there, but um, it's. I mean, do you, do you want to have a look? Kind of looks a bit like that. Not that that's much to see there. <laughs> Not an awful lot to see, is it? But uh, <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like it. I get the light in. Didn't buy this place for the view because we're so close to everything so if i want a view i just got my front door down the road less than two minutes i've got the most amazing view in the world actually around the other side of those buildings of those houses so yeah it's cool so where do i start well last week was a kind of a every week lately at work it's been a tough week i say that what's it what's it i put that Light on there as well. Yeah, every week at work lately it's been a tough week, so I should pro I should probably record these at the end of the week, really, <laughs> like on a Friday or something. But not always possible. Sometimes I have to, um, you know, pick the what moments I get offered to me. Um, last night we oh we went man we went to see. Uh, ACDC tribute band called ACDC UK. They were phenomenal. If you ever, if you like ACDC rock stuff and you you want to, you fancy seeing an ACDC tribute band, oh my goodness! I've seen a lot of bands in my time, a lot of tribute bands. They were really good. But then they are apparently they they considered Europe's top ACDC tribute band. So, oh my goodness, you know, um, yeah, it was such a good act, uh, such a fantastic performance, full of high energy. The the it was the Brian Johnson the the Brian Johnson era, but obviously they still sing all all the songs and that, but. Um, Wow, the Brian Johnson uh, guy, he, he looked quite a bit like him. And although although he's from Devon, um, he had all the mannerisms down. He, just, he moved like him. And oh my goodness, can that dude sing? He has a hell of a voice on him, a hell of a voice. And then there was the Angus Young looking like, wow, didn't half look like him. You know, the older Angus Young. Wow, it looked like him. Small in stature. He can play. He can really play. Very, very good. Um, even the Malcolm Young one wasn't, you know, really passable at a distance to, to what they would look like. But yeah, I mean, oh, they were so, so good. If you ever get the chance to see them, as a... As a seasoned musician and a performer myself, not big league like they, like that. You know, I haven't played outside of this country, but uh, but as a as a well versed person in, in the um, in the trade, shall we say, I recommend them. And it doesn't matter what country you're in, because they are global. They go around the world doing this act. So. If you're in America or Poland or you know Switzerland, wherever, and they come near you and you fancy seeing it, I thoroughly recommend it. There are so I've seen some tribute bands over the years. They either look like them but can't, 
they don't sound like him or they sound like him but they they don't act or look like them you know it's, it's a hard thing to do to get both things you know the balance right but my goodness do they do these boys do it they pull it off oh my goodness i'd see him again in a heartbeat a heartbeat very very good and it was nice to see my local town hall packed out like that um the venue was the gateway theater um uh, which is the local town hall as well and it was nice to see oh, what a fantastic night everybody's having a good time it's just really really good really good you know they packed quite a lot into that that venue I mean, obviously, they couldn't have, like, a full thing with, like, firing cannons and all this for, like, you know, for those about to rock, etc. Because too small, right? But they had some good, it had some interesting props there and some good stuff and an amazing lighting set there. Yeah, they're really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And that was last night. <laughs> Started at eight. Um, I got there about half seven. It was a bit of a queue for, oh, my goodness. You know, I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought, I'd never heard of them. I, I was, to be honest, to be in my defence, I haven't looked for them. I just thought, oh, they said these tribute act. Let's go. So Mrs. Minnie Warzone and myself, I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll have some of that. We'll, we'll do that. Um, and I was expecting, I don't know, you know, maybe, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe one man and his dog. Heck, I've played a few games like that myself. Um <laughs> But it was packed, it was rammed, uh, and that was really, really good and really nice to see. So it was, it was a bit chilly waiting outside. I was like, oh, so I went over, I was like, ah, oh, no, I'll just go in a t shirt and uh, don't need any any top on, any coat. Yeah, literally only over the road. But I was thinking, a bit chilly while we were waiting there, but once we were in there, I knew it would get hot and you know, and all that. And I was okay uh, health-wise. I was physically okay. I was able to stand, which is nice. I threw out, moving around and stuff. And, you know, not doing the old head-banging thing. And, you know, most days are long gone, I'm afraid. But, um, yeah, I was able to jig around a bit. And that was good. You know, with your hands in the air, grabbing and, yeah, punching the air and all that. It, it really good. So that was, that was Saturday, you know. Mm. we've got my dog Rufus we've got him a what do you call him a pet stroller it's called Poor Hut it's, it's basically like a like a push chair for your pets for your elderly pets and that uh, and he's loving it he loves it he can get out now he comes he comes out with us every day now as long as it's not pouring with rain uh, as long as it's not pouring with rain um, we, we can wrap him up with all the blankets. Man, he, he loves it. He hangs his head out the side. He's like, yeah, you know, this is great. I mean, he can't see or hear very much, but you know, he can smell. And he loves it. He gets very excited when we get down, you know, or he gets excited when we go past places like, you know, fish and chip shop or the butchers. And and then most of all, I think he likes the smell of the seaside itself. He likes the smell of the sea, which is which is great. Good to see good to see him so happy and um i wish we got one sooner to be honest it helps me as well because i can push i can push it and i can use it to sort of stabilize myself as well because i'm not you know sometimes i'm not the best on my pins as it were um with my condition and, that, and um it really helps it stabilizes me it's like a symbiotic relationship if the cat would wear a harness he could go in it as well because it's got like a harness clip clips on so they can't jump out you know or, or like a sort of seat belt i suppose for the for the buggy <laughs> so we have a sip of coffee see how this goes down nice i was gonna do an on the bench or an on the beach that's some sort of paint along video so i've finished my zombicide uh second edition miniatures the abominations are gone off the bench now they're done they're done i need to do a some sort of oh, excuse me oh, showcase for that, but I was organised. I just thought, I don't know. I just fancy chilling out, chilling with you guys, and um, yeah, just chewing the fat without setting it all up and that because you know it's my last last day. I got work tomorrow, and um, you know I wanna 
spending the evening with Mrs. Mini Warzone. You know, talk to her. She's on, she's on the phone, her phone at the moment. She phones her brother or he phones her every week. They phone each other. And that lasts about an hour. Which is a good chance to get something like a, a paint along video done, even though it takes me about an hour and a half, all told. Yeah, it takes me about an hour and a half. I get usually about an hour and a half of footage, but I cut out all the boring bits. Well, I say all the boring bits. I cut out what I can of just complete silence. And uh, Oh, I started painting a 3D printed waterfall statue. Um, which is there. I don't know how well you can see that. If you can see it at all. Um, but I decided to do it as a, um, a dried up statue so there's a, there's a couple of there's a couple of drops of still water in them not much i'm just using this stuff here um <clears throat> still water actually i don't know if I, am i uh how is it um sometimes it does that it see what i see is the mirror version of it i don't know if it comes out that way but if it does it does that means i'm mirrored as well oh well <laughs> Doesn't really matter though, does it? I mean, here we are. I can pack, once I've done a showcase of second edition, I can pack that, I say pack away, like that sounds like, oh, I'm never gonna go for it again. I right, pack it away, um, just temporarily, especially the expansions. I wanna get them under the, under the painting desk here. Cause that bench can then be cleared for some role playing, yeah. I am super looking forward to some role playing stuff. Um, I've got so much to choose from now. I'm spoiled. Got uh, Lord, of, Lord of the Rings. I've got D and D. Got Call of Cthulhu. Got Aliens. I've got Blade Runner. I've even got Star Trek. You know. Yep. I've got Star Trek now. I've got um, Forbidden Lands. I got it all. Got all right here. It's brilliant. Anyway, what else has happened? I'd say work's been hectic. Very, very busy. Um, problem with work is we're short-staffed in my department. So that means everybody else has got to kind of up, pick up the pace. And it's tiring. It means some, a lot of the time you do extra work, work through breaks, work on... Let's just say I'll be very, very glad when we get up to a full, a full complement of staff again, which won't be for a while. Um, mainly because we have someone on maternity leave, and I don't know if it's like a policy or something, but we don't replace people on maternity leave with someone else. It's just everybody else has to, you know, carry on, try to do the best they can until they come back. Um, which is, um, it's interesting at times, let's put it that way. And it's a difficult thing. It's not easy to replace someone just like that in our department, because anyway, you have to be, you have to have a certain security clearance, um, to be able to deal with some of the stuff we deal with. Um, you have to have quite a high security clearance. And, uh, by the time... Even if you find someone suitable, and you get by the time you get them security cleared through the induction process, trained up, the other person will probably be back anyway. So it's just as easy to leave it. But that's the way it is, you know. That's the way it is. It's just not easy, is all I'm saying. Anyway, what else? What else? Um, oh, I had a roast beef today. Uh, we haven't cooked beef. I haven't cooked beef. For many years, oh years. I think, personally speaking, I've probably only done it. I can count on one hand, probably a couple of fingers, number of times I've done it. Probably because it's it's an expensive um, meat. So it always has been for a while in my lifetime. <sighs> oh, excuse me. So I'd always opt for something cheaper in the past when I was younger. Stuff like chicken and that, but uh, I've been put off chicken ever since uh, my bout of food poisoning. I just I'm reluctant. I, I, yeah, I just 
I can't help it. I'm just reluctant to do that. I I love lamb. Oh, lamb is amazing. I like I like pork. Beef is good. Um, I used to love chicken, but it's um yeah. I just feel weird about it at the moment. Even now, uh, I've been you know I've recovered after of my food poisoning for many weeks now, but I'm still feeling a bit not wanting to rush into eating chicken again. That's, I just don't call me crazy, but I just don't. Um, okay, what else? Um, 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 oh, I've been, um, I've been feeding, I've taken it upon myself to feed uh, a stray cat near where I live. Um, I call him Sandy after the very first cat I ever had when I was, when I was a small, well, baby. Well, I used to live here before when I was, you know, brought up here. I had this ginger tom called Sandy. Uh, and I've named this stray cat Sandy after him. He's a stray cat that lives in the orchard car park. Uh, most people around the local facility just refer to him as the car park cat. He was... He's greet. He was the first thing you see when we used to come here to stay. And he would greet us from our car and say hello. And, you know, very, very welcoming. And, um, and I've... I I know I don't have to, but I feel I want to. I want to help. I want to help him. Um, I would take him on as my own if he'd let me, but I, I don't think he's... He's definitely not used to being handled because I tried to pick him up once just to move him out of the way of someone's car. He didn't like that. Um, so he's very used to being his own his own boss you know um but he lives in the car park it's a quite a big car park it used to be an orchard here when i was a kid it's, for, it's known as the orchard car park now um well it formed part of an orchard um i'll say it used to go way back but anyway he and he just lives you know he he stays under cars that's the way he stays so that's where he gets his shelter from, from like the rain and that. And I think when he gets cold, what I would do, I, I think he just moves around for cars. Because cars are always coming and going. Uh, cars that have recently been driven to get the warmth from the engine. So I think he he gravitates towards it. Anyway, I go up there, I call his name and he, he appears. You know, he, he knows me now. Well, he knows me anyway. He knew me anyway. But I call his name, he comes and um you know i i can't say he's my cat but i want to take responsibility for him if he ever got ill or sick um i suppose i'd have to try and coax him into the carry case we've got for lucian put some treats in there so you see if he'd go in there and then i could take him to the vets you know i could literally walk him to the vets and i'd probably put him in the buggy in the in the carry thing i don't know we do that, um, so I want to look out for him. A lot of people give him treats and things when they go up there, and that's what I used to do for a while. But I, I always look for him. Um, he's part of he's part of the area. He's part of Seaton for me now. So yeah, soppy kid and I. <laughs> um, so I've taken to buying food separately for him as well, as well as my own cat and dog. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, if he ever wanted to come and stay here, he'd be more than welcome, but he just doesn't. He opened the gate from the car park, he stops at the edge of the gate and just looks at you and thinks, mm, okay, I'll see you tomorrow, and then off he'll go, you know. you know. But at least I can feed him, you know. I think to myself, well, at least he's had a good meal today. So that helps. So he's a, he's a skinny thing. He's putting on a bit of weight now. A bit, bit, he's looking a bit healthier now. And I put in the, uh, in his food, I put like plaque off stuff so it helps his teeth. And he's okay with that as well. So I'm, I'm trying to do my bit. I'm trying to do my bit, basically. Right. What else? What else? I, 
don't know what else there is to tell you. I've been learning some new stuff. I told you that back along, I didn't I? Learning some new stuff at work. Oh, so many, so many things to learn. I mean, it's, I suppose it's good. It keeps my brain occupied. That's another way of looking at it. It can be a bit overkill sometimes. Uh, it goes like, oh, my, my mind goes, whoa, you know, but it definitely keeps me on my toes. I'll, I'll say that. I suppose that's a good thing. I suppose that's a good thing. Yeah. So, we've talked about the, the pet stroller, so that's been good. That's been going around um, with uh, loads of people around here have got them. But it's amazing. Every time, you know, we get stopped on the way and someone we'll say, oh, bless him, you know, and all that. He gets a lot of attention from it. He's become a local celebrity, I think. <laughs> have some coffee. Yeah, so that's that's me. That's my week, really. Oh, wow, we're on 21 minutes, so well, there's probably a couple of things I can edit out of this. So I'll finish up this, and that brings me to the end of this chill with Pete. Thank you so much for sticking with it. You may have noticed, um, oh, before I go, P&Q, that was recently put up. You know, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Mrs. Mini Warzone and I had a blast doing that. She helped me behind the camera sort of thing. And setting up shots and things like that. There was that one question I had where I had to do a voiceover because the the microphone was paying up. I pulled the lead out and it didn't record. As you know, when you're outside particularly, uh, the further away you get, the less you hear. <laughs> All you hear is the noises around. Especially when you've got like, traffic and the sea crashing against you know the uh, the beach and seagulls and whatever else around you you need that condenser mic to just pick up you um so that's out there but i will take this opportunity to say because it took me so long to do the summer p and q now i'm looking to the halloween p and q so with that in mind i need questions guys or comments um for halloween p and q have you got any? Please, please uh, pop them in the comments below and I'll start doing the list for the Halloween PQ. I love doing these PQs. They used to be my favourite series PQ. It really did. Things have evolved. My favourite type of video now is a paint along video to do. But I do enjoy the PQs. Really, really good. I'm a bit out of the loop when it comes to um, Warhammer 10th edition because I haven't played it and I only got to play a couple of games of 9th if I'm honest, um, handful um, before I moved. So since I've been here I haven't played a single game of Warhammer 40k. That's not because I couldn't if I didn't want to, if I, if I had the time I could play it every day I think down at, down at my hobby shop. But I just haven't got the time. And I could even set up a table here. It is big enough to do. It's more than big enough to do. I could set up a table here. I could have someone around. We could play here. I just haven't got the time. Work is so busy, man. Hey. I've got to retire. I've got to retire soon. And I'm going to. I am going to retire in Seaton. Very soon. Once that happens... I could do so many good things, particularly with the channel. That's, I'm excited about that. Anyway, so I think that's time to go now. So thank you for watching. Uh, please do give this video a thumbs up, you know, the like, the share, and subscribe if you're not. Um, all that other good stuff. Check out Patreon. Uh, there will be another few Patreon videos going up soon. I've decided I'm going to do some more, like filming around like beautiful stuff, beautiful scenery. There's some so many beautiful places here in Seaton. And I'd like to share that with my patrons, uh, and I'll do some for the general as well. But uh, but I really want to focus on on that for for patrons, um, and maybe some other stuff too. 
So, you know, full of promises, isn't he? Full of, full of setting himself up to be busy. I'd rather be busy doing this stuff, though. Anyway, thanks, guys. Remember all brushes lead to war. I'll see you on another video. Take care, my friends, and bye for now.